Hey guys, Mr. Klein here with uh, the video tutorial on how to draw latitude and longitude. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get going with this. So you have two videos. Hey, look, here's my hands. Um, and so let's go ahead and let's get going. So let's assume that you have uh, drawn your island. So I have amoeba land right here. It's an imaginary island, of course, for the assignment. And one of the things for the assignment is you need to draw latitude and longitude. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to draw this latitude and longitude and draw the scale. So what you're going to need is you're going to need uh, a yardstick, meter stick, or ruler of some sort, some sort of straight edge. And then what you'll also need is maybe what will help will be a tape measure right here, uh, a pencil, and a Sharpie or marker of some sort. So I have my table and stuff. So what I've done is I have my poster. Now I've folded right here along this line. That's my halfway, that's my half poster board. Here's my island. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up down here at the bottom of the, uh, at the bottom of my table. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up and I need to figure out my, how many lines of latitude and longitude I'm going to do. And a really good rule of thumb for these posters is if you use, if you use approximately four inches. So what I can do is I can then set up right here, and I'm going to go on the bottom, and I'm going to count every four inches, okay? So here's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, okay? Now I want my lines to be straight, so I need more than one. Now watch what I'm doing right here with the uh, yardstick is I'm getting nice and neat and flush, you can see right here, nice, neat, and flush on the corner, on the edge right here. It makes it a lot easier for me to draw. So I'm going to go ahead and do at the same intervals, every four inches, okay? And I can just double check. I can look right here, and I can see if it works, okay? Yeah, you see my, my headphones right there, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And I'm going to do it one more time here at the top. I'm going to slide it down. I'm leaving my finger right here, okay, where I can see where it's at. And I'll go 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it to the side. And if you notice, if you notice what I've done, if we look, take our camera and we look right here, what I've done is I actually have lines here, here, and here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to draw. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and you can see it. You can see it on the camera on the bottom. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to line up. I can put my yardstick. It's a little bit difficult the way my table set up. But same thing. I'm going to put my corner. And oh no, it's not exact, but I'm going to go close enough. Find the closest two that match. This one was off a little bit. And what I'm going to do now I'm going to just draw a straight line all the way down. And when it's done, if I can draw a second time, there I go. It veered off right here. I have a nice straight line. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. Set up, make it nice and even. Okay. This one, this one was off a little bit apparently. So I'm going to hold my pencil right straight up. Do the same thing. Okay. Same thing. This one's a little, a little bit off, but we'll set it up. Draw, and then two more. We'll go and set right around here. And then the one more that was at 20 inches, I see it. Okay, there you go. Okay, so what I've drawn right here is I've now drawn all my lines of latitude. Okay, so you can't really see it with this view up here, but if we look at our close in, you see I have my lines of latitude. Longitude, what we'll do is we'll do the exact same thing. Okay, so I've already drawn it this way. What I need to do is I need to do it this way. Okay, and so we can figure out what my lines of latitude and longitude will be. So I can go, see what I can do is I can, right here on the edge, 
I can lay it right across this edge right here. Okay, so it's nice and level. Because remember, part of the grade for the rubric is you want your lines to be straight as you can. And we're going to do the same thing every four inches. Because remember, for the rubric, I said to the assignment to assume that a line of latitude was 70 miles and a line of longitude is 70 miles. So what I can do is I can go to these straight lines I have. And I can mark, I can put my yardstick nice and close and draw four, eight, 12. Okay. And do the same thing, four, eight, 12. Now I've taken, now I've done engineering and design and stuff like that. So doing this is really, really fast. You might want, for me, you might want to take your time just to make sure it's lined up so you don't make any mistakes, okay? And I'll do the same thing again. I'll make sure I'm nice and even, okay? Eight, 12, and I'm going, remember, my scale is every four inches, I'm going for a line of latitude, okay? So, and I'll do this one more time, four, eight, 12. Now, what I can do is you see all my hatch marks I made right here? I can line up with, I can line them up as close as I can. Okay, they're all pretty close, not quite perfect, but, and I lined up my finger on the poster board right here. And what we'll do is we'll start at this first line and we'll go across, okay? And what we'll do is we'll actually stop right here. Because what we're doing is we're actually making, well, actually, I'm going to have to keep this one since my island went across. But what you do is you stop at the first line where there's no island, and that will be your wall, if you will. That'll be like the end, that'll be the box that your map sits in. So I'm going to line this up. Okay. All right, and then I have one more. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you can get like a level, and you can bubble level it where it's nice and even and stuff. And so what I'll do is I'll draw one right here at the top, but you should have, you should have an edge right here, your poster. So what I've done is I've drawn, now I can go back, I can go back and I'll erase this. Uh, is you can actually go back and you can put with Sharpies and you can draw this entire grid. You can kind of see it, kind of see it now where the lines line up. They're nice and straight. For something like this, I would give you full credit for. Now, in order to do the map scale, okay, so what we need to do is we need to do a little bit of math. And by the way, I'm going to write this stuff on my... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write this stuff on the map for you guys to understand. The map scale helps us understand what the distances are on here. Okay. What you can do is we have 70 miles. Okay. So 70 miles is from line to line. What we need is some sort of scale so people could know and look to see what the distance is in the island. Now, what you could do is you could do another four inches or you could do just two inches, okay? Two inches is equivalent to half of four inches, okay? So half of four inches, remember, if 70 miles equals four inches, 35 miles equals two inches. So what we can do is we can make a really simple scale. And I'm just going to slide my camera up right here. And you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty yardstick right here. And I want to try and straighten out as best I can. What I'm doing is I'm setting up this line as my guide. And I can actually start right here at 24 inches and go one inch, two inches. All right, 
and this is my scale. So we know this will be zero miles. And we know that because this is two inches away, half of two inch, half of four inches, two inches, that means that this will be 35 miles. Now you might be asking yourself, well, Mr. Klein, how can we figure out what's in between? Well, what I'm going to do, half of two inches, of course, one inch, and let me just put this just so you can see what I just did. It's one inch. We'll make a mark and draw in between. Now we have to figure out half of 35. Half of 35 is 17.5 miles. And there you go. Every inch is seven, on this map is going to be 17 and a half miles. So I'm going to write map scale. And of course, you're going to write it nice and neat, and you're going to put it in a place out of the way where you can put your map legend and you have everything at. And yeah, you can totally see my head that's been sitting there this entire time down here on the bottom. So there you go. Just to review, uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need a yardstick. Okay. You might use a tape measure in order to get your straight lines. Um, in order to get that, okay, you'll need a pencil and you'll need a Sharpie or marker or whatever for what you're using. And so what we do is we line up the edge of the paper right here with our yardstick and then we put every four inches we make a mark on our map. And from there we can draw out the grid of latitude and longitude. And what you end up with is a map that is completely done. So there you go, that's amoeba land. So there you go. Um, Let's go ahead and let's zoom out. So there you go. That's it. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, hope this really helps your map work out. And thanks for watching.